Hi, so welcome back. This is the second video in the first project with Lattice FPGA series. And uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the three software tools that we're going to be using. So here I am on the Lattice Semiconductor homepage, and I'm going to go up to search and type in iStick, because that's the FPGA development board that we will be using. Go down here, iStick Evaluation Kit, and right here it says Development Software. So the I'll just read this. The iStick Evaluation Board is supported by Lattice IceCube 2 Design Software for HDL Hardware Description Language Development Programming on board the Ice40HK HX1K. That's the FPGA that's uh, on board. Then the SPI Flash is done with Diamond Programmer version 3.0 or higher. Download Diamond Programmer now. So what this basically says is that the the HDL is developed in one program, and then you generate a bit stream, and then you take that bit stream, put it into a different program, and then that's how you flash the uh, the development board. So it's a little different if you're used to something like Vivado. Um, I actually just got started in that, but that has everything into one pretty much. I believe this is different. And also, one note about the Diamond Programmer is you're going to click on Diamond down, Download Diamond Programmer now. You'll download both of these softwares, both the Ice Cube Two. Let me highlight that Ice Cube Two and the uh, the Diamond Programmer, but so I'm going to click on this diamond programmer because it's a little bit different. So this diamond programmer that we're going to be using, Lattice has two softwares that one is called diamond and one is diamond programmer. This is diamond. This is a, an image of diamond. And that has the programmer integrated into it. That's for, I'll, here I have it open here. That's for these products right here. So the Mock X03, um, I think that has a development board with it too. Since we're using just the basic um, iStick, we're going to be using the standalone programmer. See, it says Diamond Programmer is fully integrated in Diamond and is also available as a standalone application. So make sure when you download Diamond, you're downloading the standalone version. Okay, so says standalone programmer standalone 3.11 is the latest that was june 1st that's what i have and um i'm on windows so obviously i downloaded the windows one because you can do this two ways this page right here i got to from the from searching the iStick evaluation kit which was the page i showed in the first video right with all the pictures you can also just search lattice diamond there's a lot more um options right here to download but like i said what you want to do is download the standalone programmer which is right here standalone programmer so unfortunately it's two different programs that you have to download from lattice and um but it is what it is it's not that hard to use next note in the ice cube 2 software um which is the hdl the the HDL development, here, I'll click on it right here. It doesn't have, again, it's it's different from Vivado in terms of you can't actually type the, the test bench or the code directly into the program. You have to import your files. So to do that, you need a code editor. I use Notepad++. It's free. It's great. Um, just search Notepad++, download and uh, that can save in I, i'm going to use verilog so dot v files and then it can save the hdl files as well as a ton of bunch of other languages um if you have another code editor that you want to use that can as long as it can save uh verilog files or hdl files then it should be totally fine but uh just know that you're gonna have to import files into the ice cube 2 software in order to have the final goal of generating the bitstream and programming well you don't really program a fpga but but you know what i'm saying program the fpga so um yeah thanks for checking out this video download these softwares and hopefully you have the board by now and then click on the next one thanks for checking it out bye